Hello, everybody. This is Aunt Boo. I want us to talk today. We need to have a serious conversation about marriage, divorce, and the children. Listen, marriage is honorable in the sight of God. When a man takes a woman to be his wife, then they become one. It don't mean that all of a sudden she doesn't have a mind. All of a sudden everything he likes, she likes. No, 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 no. They become one flesh. That they, they become partners. They become a unit moving as one, a fortified front against the enemy. Marriage can be beautiful. Did you hear what I said? It can be beautiful. I work in pension. And sometimes people call. And they have been married 40, 50 years. And you can hear one trying to help the other one in the background. He can't hear too well, honey, and all this other stuff. And the other one saying, honey, she's asking you your social security number. They help each other out. They're a team. Marriage can be beautiful, but marriage is going to be what you make it. It's going to be what you want it to be. And it's going to take both parties giving 110, 150. 50% in order for that marriage to work. Because let me tell you something about love. Love can fluctuate. One day you look at, at her and she's the most beautiful thing in the world. Then you find out that she kissed somebody on the jaw. Oh, Lord, my battery about to die. Find out she kissed somebody on the job. And now she's not the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> now she a, a bee. You know what I mean? And I know what that is. It ain't nothing but ego. It's hurt. Feelings of betrayal. I got that. I understand that. But that love can fluctuate. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I got to go over here and plug my phone in. It can. Oh, God. Now I done dropped the charger thing. Oh, hold, please. It can fluctuate. You know? You love him to life. Picking up his drawers. Even the ones where he done got caught out there and ain't quite right too good. That up wipe. He done missed it. Hold, please. I'm sorry, y'all. Johnny. Right. At first, you like, oh, my. You sit there, you take your hands and put on some gloves, and you scrub the skid marks out. Skid marks out. Keep it moving. Why? Because you love that man. But then you find out that you could have more. If he wasn't gambling, then all of a sudden that love shift. You saw that? You saw that? It shift. But it's going to be what you want. Sometimes it's, it's it, people say marriage is, is giving and taking. Taking? I think that a successful marriage is giving and sharing, not giving and taking. You know, unless you're talking about you can you take a lot. I will. I take a lot. <laughs> uh, had to put up with a lot. Take in that aspect. Okay. That love, it goes up and down. It fluctuates. And so while we're going through our battles. 
power fights, mental, emotional battles. All the kids know is this. I love my mama. I love my daddy. I don't want them to fight. That's all the kids know. They don't know that there was the gambling problem behind the scenes. I hope they don't anyway. The drug problem. They don't know that daddy wearing that turtleneck and it's 80 degrees outside because he got big, deep scratches on his neck, bite marks that didn't come from a night of passion. It came from a night of, a night of self-defense. They don't understand why mama all of a sudden started wearing makeup. They don't get that. They don't see the the bills or, or the tag hanging on the door saying, uh, yeah, your, your lights have been disconnected. They don't see that. They just see a tag hanging on the door. Your gas is off. Pay this amount and call us back. They don't see all that. They not, they're not there for the lies that's told. Yeah, I paid the daycare bill. All they know is that they're sitting outside or they're sitting in the office waiting for you to come pick them up because the daycare provider said they can't stay there because the bill ain't paid. Kids don't see all that. All kids know is I love my mama and I love my daddy. Yeah, they fight a lot. But I love them. Now, here's the thing. You guys can talk. You guys can go to counseling. You guys can separate inside the house for the sake of the kids. You know, you know, both parents still in the house. Or you guys can divorce. Or separate outside the house, shall I say. And then, of course, you can divorce. That separation outside of the house might be a good idea, but you need to understand. Everybody got to pay their own bills. Let me tell you something about myself. And this is Aunt Boo but naked. My marriage went south. And it was south, even though I loved my husband. I loved my husband. I loved him. But it went south real quick. Well, no, not real quick. It went south over time. And then I, I ended it real quick. Because... It was year after year after year after year. And y'all know I talked about my husband on social media, loved him to life. But nobody knew what was going on behind closed doors. And I was one of those people, you know, I want my daughter to, to grow up in a two-parent home. And so I fought. And I prayed and I cried and I cried and I cried. As a matter of fact, let me tell you this. Today is the, the day makes nine years that my mother has been deceased. I, I brought that up because I'm going to tell you what happened. My mom was deceased one particular day. I was down on the floor crying my eyes out. And I heard my mama's voice say, get up. She said, I ain't never raised you to run behind no man like that. Get up. I got up and I dried my eyes and I made a decision. 
And I knew that if, that if uh, me and Rhea had to continue to live together, it would have ended in tragedy. Did you hear what I said? And when I say tragedy, I mean six feet underground, grass growing on top, headstone tragedy. So I had to make a decision. Remain in this marriage and have it look good to the outside world. Have it look like it's working to the outside world. Or do I save my child from this toxic environment? Now mind you, the child knows I love my mama. I love my daddy. When a relationship is toxic, sometimes you have to bite the bullet and go your separate ways. And I sat in this chair, <laughs> this chair right here. And I said, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills. Because see, he paid the mortgage. I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills. I don't know how I'm going to make it. But what I do know is that I don't want to go to jail. Oh, I would have came out on top. Believe me when I say. So I had to make a conscious decision to stay free and to save my child not knowing what was coming. All the child knows is, I love my mama. I love my daddy. And so you shield them the best you can. But at some point in time, that child going to start remembering stuff. Going to start piecing stuff together. And they'll even come back and tell you, I'm glad you did what you did. I know me and my brother, my mama. Me and my brother just kept telling my mama, leave him. Mama, won't you leave him? She never did. He fathered children outside of their marriage. Had habits. And she never left them. I ain't my mama. Not her at all. Uh, and of course, we were grown at the time. You know, when everything went south with them, we were grown. But my daughter is now 15. And I had to make a conscious decision to save my child. Don't talk negative about your child. I mean, about your uh, child's father to them. Don't allow them to participate in adult conversations and your child is not your therapist or your friend. Let your child be a child because all they know is, I love my mama. I love my daddy. And if you can't work it out, put the thing back together and make it beautiful, make it sweet. But remember, love will shift. Marriage is beautiful. And all the children know, if it don't work out, is I love them both. So you love your child, whether you are the one the child is with or whether you left from where the child is living. Love your child with everything you got because that's all they know is they love you both. Adults be adults. Let your kids be kids. I love you. God bless you. This is Aunt Boo in a serious moment. Have a wonderful day.